I am Anil Kumar and I hope you are enjoying this journey of understanding how to solve quadratic equations. Now here we have a quadratic equation, degrees 4. It is x to the power of 4 minus 6x squared plus 8 equals to 0. And let us see how to solve a quadratic equation. Well, let me divide this page and make the right side for our rough work or strategy. Now in this case, as you can see, the equation is quadratic, but if we replace x square with another variable, we can make it quadratic. That means, let us say if I write p equals to x square, then what happens to the equation? It becomes p square minus 6p plus 8 equals to 0. So it becomes a quadratic equation, right? If p equals to x square, then p square will be equals to x to the power of 4, correct? So I can write x to the power of 4 as p square minus 6p plus 8 equals to 0. Now it becomes a quadratic equation. The second part of this question is, if you look at the question, it is exact solution of quadratic equation. Now whenever there is exact solution, that means we have to use quadratic formula. So in this case, the variable is p. So p could be solved as p equals to the formula is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a, right? So that is the x value and normally we find, right? Or solve a quadratic equation. So that is the formula which we are going to use, correct? So let's solve this equation. So first thing is we'll substitute p as x square. So let that be our let statement. So we say let p equals to x square, then p square will be x to the power of 4, and then we can rewrite our equation, and equation becomes p square minus 6p plus 8 equals to 0. Now to solve this, we know we cannot factor it, because, uh, well, in this case, we can factor it also. 8 is 4 times 2, right? Now since 8 is 4 times 2, and 4 and 2 will give us uh, 6, right? So we can actually factor this one. So we have we are looking for two numbers. Let us say R and S, whose product is 8, right? And R plus S is minus 6. So the two numbers which could work for us are 4 and 2, right? Now 4 times 2 is 8. Uh, and we need sum of minus 6. That means both should be negative, right? Now that means we can factor this equation. So we can factor this and write this as p minus 4 times p minus 2 equals to 0, right? So we have factored and got factored form of this equation in p. Now it has two solutions. One is that either p could be 4, right? Or p could be 2, right? So we can say, let if p minus 4 is equals to 0, then p is equals to 4. And if p minus 2 equals to 0, then p is equals to 2. So we got two solutions now. Now from here, we can substitute back p as x squared and find what the value of x could be, right? So if we take p as 4 and we know p is x squared, then we can say x squared equals to 4. Now, if x squared is 4, what is x equals to? x is plus minus square root of 4, right? And that gives us two answers, which is plus minus 2, right? So these are two answers which we get from p equals to 4. How about p equals to 2? In that case, x squared equals to 2, and then x is equals to plus minus square root of 2, right? So these are the answers when p is equals to 2. So we get four solutions to this equation, right? So we can write down our final answer as x is equal to plus minus square root of 2. So that is the exact value. Or it is equal to plus minus 2. So there are four different answers for x. And that is expected in quartic equation. Maximum number of real solutions could be four for a quadratic equation, right? Well, in this case, we could do without even applying the quadratic formula since 
we could factor it. Well, you could always use quadratic formula even in such cases, right? So that's the, that's the way we can solve these questions. But the strategy here is to substitute a variable for x square so that we can write the quadratic equation as quadratic equation and once we have it in quadratic form we can apply all the strategies of factoring and uh, formulas to calculate the answer. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.